Perfectly hooked. Uh, I'll get him off in just a second. Perfectly hooked in the upper lip, lip. Split shot hanging down there. Very effective setup on a cold day like today. My hands are freezing. Okay, so we're going to attempt to show you kind of how this would look underwater. And you'll see this nymph coming. And you can see that shot slides and bounces right along the, the rocks. And that nymph stays about 12 inches up. Now the beauty of this thing is that there's going to be a little bit of tension between your indicator and the shot. Like that, because the current is going to be pulling your indicator downstream and the split shot is actually going to be slowing your indicator down to go ahead and stop right about there and you can see that split shot winds up bring it down just a little bit lower it down depending on the angle that fly might be up off the bottom or it might be higher but that's essentially what's going to happen right there that split shot is going to slide right through the leaves and the sticks and all that junk and you're not going to lose a lot of flies because that fly is going to stay just up off the bottom, just like that right there, tantalizing the trout, which is down here. And that trout is just going to hammer that thing as it bounces around and comes downstream just like that. And you might notice I got one little extra knot in there when I was demonstrating how to do the shot I put one little dot in there but normally you wouldn't have a knot so anyway that's what the rig looks like and uh, it is very effective especially for areas where there's sticks on the bottom or you're fishing very cold water trout and you need to get your fly right down near the bottom without snagging up too much simple drop shot setup now let me show you how this is rigged up this is for nymphing and it may or may not be able to get into focus here, but I'm going to show you the setup. What we have is we have a leader coming down. I'll show you how to put all this together. And at the very bottom, we have a piece of split shot like that. And I'm going to show you how that's rigged up and how the effect works. So why would you want to use this setup? This setup I found to work incredibly well in cold water conditions where the trout don't want to float up and they're not aggressive for shallower nymph rigs and they're not wanting to come off the bottom. Most trout live about 6 to 12 inches off the bottom and sometimes they don't want to go up and eat a fly. The other thing too is trout don't suck nymphs off the bottom. They're not bottom feeders. So this setup keeps that nymph suspended right eye level with the trout, helping you catch a lot of fish. So let me outline the setup here real quick. Uh, the one I was using yesterday that you'll see in that video trailer, I was running uh, a a polypropylene yarn strike indicator. I've got a junction tied right there and then I have about five feet of fluorocarbon leader coming all the way down to my nymph and my split shot. Let me set the rod down. And the rod I'm using just for good measure is a 10 foot two weight Echo Shadow. I really like that rod for light line nymphing. Now when that leader comes down, at the very terminal end of that, I've got that piece of split shot. Now the way I make that stop knot right there to keep your split shot on there is it's really easy. Hang on. It's raw and uncut, people. This is the real deal. It's a really easy stop knot to tie. I'm going to go ahead and retie one here. And I'm going to do a triple surgeon's loop at the very end of that on that leader. I'm just going to do this real time. Why not? I want to show you how easy this is. So I make my triple surgeon's loop, okay? just like that right there. And then I'm gonna take, and I'm just gonna cut that loop off, just like that. I'm gonna cut my tag off, and that is gonna hold that split shot right in place there and keep it from flying off the end of your line when you're casting. This shot yesterday was used to, to do about three hours of guiding. I was just guiding a couple of buddies of mine. It was used for three hours of guiding, and we only lost one nymph the entire time. Now I've shortened that setup. Normally I would want that shot quite a ways below my fly. My fly is tied in here by employing a triple surgeon's knot right here with a lighter piece of tippet and I like to keep that about four inches from my main line. I normally would want my shot down about there. So that's the basics of the setup. The parts you can use to build this thing yourself and make it really easy. I'll put links to this stuff in the description. I like yarn indicators most of the time unless the currents are really swirly, but you can use like a thingamabobber or an airlock. Uh, these are loon tip toppers. They're super buoyant. 
I run a comb through those. You can also get a Lunar Go comb on our website too. I'll put a link to that. A variety of different split shot. Uh, most of the time I'm using a 0.8 gram. That AAA one I would say is my most common one to grab. That's the camo drop stuff. It's not flashy. It's really dull in color. I really like that for my drop shot rig. And then just starting with a Rio indicator leader like a 10 foot 3X works extremely well and you can build right off of that. So we're going to pause this for a second and we're going to show you actually how this thing slithers over the bottom and why it's so damn effective.